Have you sinned too much? I know sometimes uh, there are individuals who are so convinced they're great that they're not even thinking about the fact that they've done things that might make God really angry. But there are other people and sometimes it can be a single individual who feels one way one day and another way another day. But let's just say there are, there are people who think back over their lives and when they think about God and they think about dying, they're convinced that they have sinned too much, that there is no way that God could ever love them. There was a lady who came into a gathering where Jesus was, and as soon as she walked in the room, everybody knew who she was. She was somebody that didn't have a great reputation. She was somebody who the community knew had sinned a lot. The lady comes up to Jesus and she's crying. She's got some perfume and she begins wiping his feet uh, with her hair and tears and the whole bit. And, and the, the people are watching this happen and thinking there's no way that Jesus could be a prophet. There's no way that Jesus could be someone special. If he was someone special, he would know what kind of woman this is who's doing this to him. So Jesus turns to an individual who is thinking these very thoughts and and he said, let's say that somebody owes basically two years of wages to somebody else. And there's somebody else who only owes two months worth of wages. And the person to whom the money's owed forgives them both. Which of those two people would be more grateful? And the answer was obvious. The, the one who had two years of wages forgiven in that moment. And then Jesus says, take a look at this lady. She has been showing me love and appreciation ever since she walked into this room. Her many sins have been forgiven. And that's obvious because she is loving much. And then he turns to the lady and he says, your sins have been sent away. Your faith has saved you. You see, that lady had, had a past. She had a reputation. Maybe... Maybe you have a past. Maybe you have a reputation. Maybe, maybe nobody knows what is in your past, but it keeps coming back. Do understand that to have a past is not to mean that you can't be forgiven. In fact, that's, that's exactly the kind of person that Jesus loves. He loves all people. He, he loves those who, who have a past. Because Jesus came to take their sin on himself and he's already, he has paid. He's, he's suffered the eternal price for you and for me. And yeah, the person who thinks God could never love them, you're exactly the person that God has loved. And it blows your mind. That lady was, was blown away. She knew that Jesus was the savior of the world and couldn't stop showing him love. Weeping tears, I, I can only imagine tears of joy or just being overwhelmed with the fact that here was her Savior. And yes, for you, as you come to appreciate just what the Savior has done for you, then your love can be just like that, ladies, where nobody can stop you. You can't stop saying thank you to Jesus for what he has done for you and for me.